In this video, I'll show you how to use the top document feeder of your Epson Workforce Pro WF 4820 or 4830. This way, if you have multiple pages, could be more than three, obviously, you can scan them automatically. The printer will take them. You won't have to touch anything. And at the end, you have a file with multiple pages in it. So let me show you how this is done using your iPhone. It works the same way on Android. Don't worry. This is the main menu of your printer. If you're not seeing this, you need to press on the house icon over here. So you get on the main menu screen. Then the third option from the top over here, you see there's a Wi-Fi logo. Press on it once. You're going to have multiple options. We need to select the first one. Wi-Fi recommended. Start setup. Select Wi-Fi wizard, the first option. It will scan for all the Wi-Fi networks around you. So at home or if you're at the office, it will select if it will show you every single network that are around the printer. And now you just have just like on any touch screen to go and select your actual Wi-Fi network from this list. Now it's time to enter the password. Go down, press on enter and type your password. If you have numbers in your password, press this number button down below to switch. Once you're done typing the password, press OK and select Start Setup. Wait a few seconds or sometimes even a minute. Make sure that the printer is in the range of your Wi-Fi network. At the end, you're going to get this blue check mark saying that everything is done properly and that's and that the printer is now connected to your Wi-Fi. Now that the printer is connected to the Wi-Fi, you'll go on your iPhone and download the Epson Smart Panel app. It looks like this. When it's downloaded, open the app. This is the main screen of the app. If you open the app for the first time, you probably won't see the screen. You'll have to click on agree on certain uh, screen before this one. But once you're over here, you need to click on the plus icon over here to add a new printer to the app. Then select the second option, connect to a product already on the Wi-Fi. Wait a bit, it will scan. And then you should see your Epson WF 4820 or 4830 series printer over there. Click on it. Perfect. Connection complete. Your printer is now connected to your smartphone. Click OK. So over here I have a document with three different pages. Make sure that every pages is in the right orientation like this and align them this way. Then on the top here, you have this small guideline and you're going to notice one line over here is written A4 and the, on the other line it's uh, LTRLGL. This stands for letter size and legal document. So if you have one of these, this is a uh, letter size paper, US letter size, I'll bring this gray thing, this gray uh, guide towards the edge over here. Then all you have to do is to insert them in this slot over here facing up with the top part of the print on the left side, the way you see right over here. So I'll just put them here. Okay, perfect. And then I'll take back my app and in the app I'll press scan. This time on the top instead of scanner glass, I'll click and I'll select ADF. ADF stands for automatic document feeder. And again, just change these settings according to your project and press start. And take a look what happens when you do this. The scanner will take one by one each page. Don't touch anything, just wait. Once this is done, on your smartphone, you're going to have each page with a number above. If you have more pages, 
just put them at the same spot and press the plus icon and your document ha can have 500 pages if you wish. The next step are similar. You just need to press next, give a new name to this document and press save or share it once you're done.